Hi guys, welcome to another post of my web design video blog. And in this post I want to talk about form validation. Form validation are uh, very important for those websites that are working with uh, visitors and are asking some information from those visitors. Of course, uh, must validate their forms. So I created a simple form on this uh, page 2.html page. I did it in uh, Dreamviewer. By the way, I already made a lesson which explained how to validate form uh, using uh, using this uh, this program, this uh, Dreamviewer editor. But in this lesson, I will show you how to do it uh, manually with uh, pure JavaScript. Okay, so here is a simple form. I declared a new form, named it form1. The action is pagego.html. I didn't create this page uh, because we don't really need it. We just need to validate uh, our current form on page2.html. Okay, then I uh, entered some text, empty, and the text box, which is called also empty. We will check if this uh, checkbox is empty or not in our JavaScript function. Then we have line breaks. Then we have a checkbox that is named agree. Then we have a select box with three options. Uh, please pay attention that this is the text that is displayed on the page. Let's take a look again. This is the text. Please choose option 1 and option 2 but the value that is passed to our target page, which in this case is page1go.html, of course in real life we will use PHP or ASP or something like this and not regular HTML because we are using here dynamic pages. We are asking uh, our visitor for some information and probably we will want to store this information in some database or file or anything like this. So anyway, this is the text, but the real value is uh, here, and it is connected uh, to the text just here in the option, uh, in this option tag. Okay, then we have our email, which is simple text box, just I define some size here, because email can be a little bit longer. Okay, then I have the submit button, a regular submit button with the uh, go value value is just the text of the submit button and on click I am running this return uh, this uh, this validate function sorry and I am passing to this function all the uh, all the text boxes all our inputs uh, from the visitors as you see agree is the checkbox and empty is in the text box email is text box as well and select is an option box. Okay, all those uh, values are passed here to the validate function, which is basically a very simple function in JavaScript. I just declared here some uh, Java, some script tags, and I declared the function. Pay attention that the order of those values is exactly the same here and in the function declaration line. Okay, then. I am checking if uh, empty dot value is uh, nothing. If it is nothing, I am just displaying uh, an alert. You must select. Uh, no, you must enter a text. Okay, and then I will return false. It is very important to return false here because if I will return false, first of all, I will end the function. The function will will not run on. And even more important, here I entered this return word, which is actually telling that uh, this validate function should return anything. And then if false will be returned, uh, this form will not be submitted. That is just the way this submit type works. If we will have false here, the form will not be submitted. I will show you an example of our form. Okay, If I will uh, hit go, I will get this error message, this alert. And when I click OK, the form will not be submitted. And the reason is because we got false here from our function. If I will erase, for example, the return word 
or just uh, not return here a false value then just after getting the error message the form will be submitted uh, regardless of the error and that is not the situation we want to create so let's go on then we are checking if the value of uh, our agree box is checked and if it is not checked uh, we, are, we will display the alert okay this is this is the way to check in javascript if some box is checked while the agree of course is the name of our checkbox next we have our select box value and we are checking if the value is equal to be zero please pay attention that the zero value is connected to the please uh, choose text so if nothing was chosen then zero will be passed to our function and we will display uh, this alert text and return false of course then is email email is little bit more complicated but basically i'm using here this uh, javascript search function with uh, this string the string is a little bit complicated by but i don't think you should understand it uh, of course if you want you can search on google for an uh, explanation about the search function but anyway i will include it here in the post uh, just after the post and you will be able to use this function uh, in your scripts or in your website nothing to really uh, to really understand here because I'm just checking if this function is returning uh, minus one and if it is then there is some error with our uh, with our function you will find many uh, ver variations of those uh, strings in uh, the form validation uh, function but I think that this is the most successful uh, option for this string uh, for this function sorry and uh, this will really check that our email is okay and this will check and that we have a domain that we have uh, this email sign and we have the dots in the proper uh, places and nobody is trying to input a fake email okay and uh, another thing we can uh, validate form uh, using uh, using different events one event is on click here on click of the submit button another option is to use here uh, the on submit uh, the on submit uh, event okay we can call our function here as well okay this will be actually the same if you want to check uh, to check uh, or to validate your boxes before even submitting you can add here the event on blue and this will check the the checkbox uh, or the text box at the same moment the user will leave uh, this checkbox and uh, will move to the next one but I don't uh, really want to use it because it will annoy uh, my visitors so I'm just checking uh, when the form is submitted by using the on click event here or the on submit event here inside the form tag okay now I want to uh, check this form 